Hello and thanks for stopping by. I'm very happy to be able to upload this video celebrating 1000 subscribers. And to do that in fashion, I'm sharing a tool to help you speed up your workflow in 3D Studio Max's Arnold. This will also help introduce new users to the Arnold renderer. I've been getting to know the Arnold renderer for about 8 months now, and I'm really impressed with it. I try to get to know the default renderers, and moving on from Mental Ray to Arnold is a dramatic step up in quality and flexibility. The tool that I have created is called Arnold Buddy. It automates five of the common tasks that I undertake with every scene. Automating these basic tasks prevents me from making basic errors, saving me time and making me more productive. The operations that Arnold Buddy simplifies are enabling Arnold, creating a Skydome light, creating an HDRI environment, setting up Arnold AOVs, and switching between production and active shape mode. To install Arnold Buddy, simply drag the MZP into the viewport. The resulting message tells you that Arnold Buddy has been installed and how to access it. One location you might like to add it is to the Arnold menu. So under the Customize User Interface menu, you can navigate to the Menus tab, and that is where you'll find the Arnold menu or indeed any menu that you would like to use. By looking under the category Lucas 3D, you can find the action Arnold Buddy and can drag that to any menu that you desire. And don't forget to save your settings when you're happy. Alright, we're all set up, so let's take a look at my example scene. I'll launch Arnold Buddy, and first things first, I'll choose Use Arnold. The renderer is automatically set to active shade mode, and basic settings are applied. We can see the result when we render, but of course there is no lighting yet. I'll add in the Sky Dome light by pressing Create Sky Dome. The Sky Dome is added, and its settings are available in the Slate Material Editor. We'll try using an HDRI by pressing Create HDRI, and we'll be asked to navigate to an HDRI file. Simply select an image file and Arnold will apply it to your scene. It's easy to decide to use a different HDRI by clicking the button and trying out different light probes. This is a popular way to quickly apply a look to your scene and I've always loved the HDRI workflow. The next procedure is how to add AOVs. If you can allow for AOVs when creating an image or an animation, you will see just how much flexibility it adds to post-production. Clicking Set up AOVs will check if that is currently possible. One requirement currently is that a single AOV has been manually created. Here is how to do that. Navigate to the AOV tab, select Add AOV File, choose any AOV, and press Add. Now with an AOV available, the script can do its job and populate the render with useful AOVs. Traditionally with Arnold, you need to add these passes manually. I've done that a bunch of times and much prefer having them added automatically. In active shade mode, once rendered, you will see all the AOVs available to be viewed in the frame buffer. AOVs are awesome. And finally is the procedure for handling the mode that we are rendering with. You see, while we are interactively creating the look that we are after in active shade mode, we cannot save our final file or animation in this mode. We need to switch back to production mode. The problem with doing this is that any tweaks to your render settings that occurred within the active shade mode are not applied to the production renderer. This is definitely frustrating when you see all of your AOVs disappear, requiring you to build them again from scratch. Other settings, like render resolution, are also not passed through. My solution was to implement the active shade and production switch. Using the switch saves the settings and applies them to the other render mode. I feel like new users will find this a much more expected behavior. And the switch flows both ways. So while in production mode, I can change our resolution and remove the volume AOV.
and when I use the switch, we will see that those two settings have also been updated in the active shade as well. And that is it for Arnold Buddy. It's a simple tool and I hope it works well for you. I use Arnold all the time now, so if there are bugs, I will be motivated to fix them and update the installer with new versions. Once again, thanks very much, 1000 subscribers, that is awesome, you all rock, and have a great week.